There's in Utah and around the country condemning the anti-Semitic remarks from a prominent former business owner here in Utah. The email allegedly sent from Entrada founder Dave Bateman linked the COVID vaccine to what he calls an extermination plot by Jews. It was for us, Nick McGurk following this story for us tonight. And Nick, you're looking into whether Utah is suffering from a real problem with anti-Semitism. Well, that's right, Glenn. We're asking that question tonight. We came to Chabad Lubavitch Center here in Salt Lake, and it was back in May that they actually had this defaced uh, vandalism. There were swastikas uh, spray painted on the glass doors. And so we know that happened. There were other incidents last year as well. We spoke to the rabbi here. He saw that email everyone's talking about and says he was shocked. The email is blatantly anti-Semitic. Rabbi Avrami Zippel reacting to that email. Utah tech mogul Dave Bateman, who founded and chaired software company Entrada, allegedly writing an email to business and political leaders blaming, quote, the Jews for a vaccine plot, quote, a sadistic effort, he wrote, quote, to euthanize the American people. That translates to violence against, you know, minority communities very quickly. And Zippel would know the power of hateful words. We spoke to him today inside the Chabad Lubadovich Center, where last May he showed up to find swastika vandalism on the front doors. In total, the Anti-Defamation League reporting three cases of anti-Semitism in Utah last year, including at Sandy's Dimple Dell Park and then swastikas spray painted at a high school in Logan. It's all part of one larger problem, and I think that's what's vital. Bateman's email, which has since been condemned by Utah's Governor Spencer Cox, has led to Bateman's resignation. It's also led to many questions why that email would be sent in the first place to the who's who of powerful Utahns. Does Utah have a anti-Semitism problem? I think Utah has an anti-Semitism problem as much as the rest of the world does. And I think that viewing anti-Semitism here in the state as somehow putting us on a pedestal of being a, a, a huge problem or a huge lack of a problem, both of those attitudes are incorrect. Anti-Semitism is a global issue. It affects every community in every corner of the world equally, and it affects our community just the same. Now, speaking with the Anti-Defamation League, they track incidents like anti-Semitism. They say historic highs hit in 2019, and then last year, the third highest number against Jewish Americans in terms of anti-Semitic incidents. They say the kind of words that were in that email can, and they have seen this happen, often do inspire violence. They called that email dangerous. We're live in Salt Lake. I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News.